Hi there, my name is Ale Yajnik. I'm a certified focal point business coach, and today we're getting into part two of our three part session on creating an unstoppable vision for your business. And again, we're talking about a vision that may be different from an ordinary business vision. This is something that's going to truly make your business unstoppable, and as part of several other elements, uh, you are going to find that your business will be more resistant to uh, negative market trends. Uh, you're going to have more control over what the competition is doing. And what you're going to find is that your business is going to be more under your control and less susceptible to the negative things that are going on in the marketplace. So if that's of interest to you, let's get right into it. Quick review from our last session. Uh, the first thing we talked about when you get started creating your vision, the first thing you have to do is identify the best customer experience that exists today. And that may be in your business, hopefully, uh, but it also may be a competitor. It's important your objective and identify the best customer experience that's out there. Once you do that and you understand it, now you're in a position to think about how it can be improved. And you can do that on your own or you can get some help to figure that out. Um, but that's an important part. So once you understand those two things, what's the best customer experience out there today and how can it be improved? Now you're in a position to do the third thing that we're going to talk about. Um, and that is visualizing the ideal customer experience. And I can't emphasize how important of a step this is in the process of building your vision. The unstoppable vision we're going to be creating for you is going to be dependent upon the ideal customer experience and putting that um, into, uh, into a vision and then creating that vision uh, again in reality. Uh, and that all starts with visualizing what that ideal customer experience should be. So now you know what the best, uh, the, the best customer experience uh, that exists. You've created and thought of some ways to improve it. <clears throat> now I really want you to think of some game-changing ideas. If you visualize the ideal customer experience, keeping a laser focus on your clients, what would that be like? Now, one of the things that comes up is the question of, okay, well, you know, the ideal customer experience would actually be to give it away for free. That way they don't have to pay anything for it. Um, that's actually a common misconception, and so I wanted to address that up front because it might be something you're, you're concerned about. Um, at this point, you don't want to worry too much about your business model and what changes uh, that would entail, but generally when you give something away for free, it's not appreciated by the customer. It's not appreciated by them. It's not internalized by them. In fact, most often it's ignored, and so if we're really trying to improve our client situation in some way, uh, whatever that happens to be, whether it's handling uh, a legal issue that they may have, whether it's making sure that, hey, they buy the right clothing for themselves, uh, or whether it's giving them that cool new gadget that's just coming out that's going to improve their lives. Giving it away for free works against all of that. So you want to make sure that, uh, that you don't worry too much right now about pricing, but a part of that ideal customer experience is that the ideal price goes along with it. Because what we're talking about here is the value of what you're providing and how you can best improve your client's situation. So it's, it's an abstract idea, I know, and a lot of times people ask me, what do you mean by that? Do you, do you mean that I'm just supposed to... Uh, go, I don't know, sit on a beach and, and, and cross my legs and sit on a rock and think about it for a while. Uh, and, that, and that's okay. It's not a bad starting point is to just do some thinking about it, whether it's in the shower or on a beach or in a coffee shop or just at your desk. But you have to take it a step further. And the reason you have to take it a, bad, a step further is that when you think about something in your mind, um, <clears throat> your thinking tends to be fuzzy. Because our mind does this amazing thing. When it has two disconnected ideas or two related ideas, uh, either way, what it will do is it will try and connect them. And so you will intuitively think that there are connections uh, to your thoughts when, in fact, there may be significant gaps there. So the best way to get that down is to write it out. Now, for those of you that, uh, that like to think better in words, go ahead and write down uh, the ideal customer experience from your client's point of view or your customer's point of view. It's so important. The better you can capture that in detail, uh, for those of you who are writers, use words, um, the better 
uh, you will be able to uh, crystallize that customer experience into your vision. And if you're not a uh, someone that likes to, to learn and think in words, you're more of a pictures person, it's a great opportunity to draw pictures. My gosh, one of the best things to do is to storyboard your ideal customer experience. Have some fun with it. You can pull in your executive team um, or your management team and you can get going on this. Uh, storyboard is simply a series of, it could be uh, flip chart paper, it could be you know blank sheets of paper, but it's simply a, <clears throat> a almost a frame by frame if you think of it a, about a movie, frame by frame with snapshots of the customer consuming your product or your service. Um, and it starts from their first touch point with you and it ends with their last touch point with you. Um, it's a wonderful exercise. It's a lot of fun for those of you who um, think better in terms of pictures. And you can certainly combine the two. You can combine words and pictures. You can have a lot of fun with this. I've done um, all day workshops just on this alone. So whether you choose to uh, write it out, type it out, uh, or whether you choose to um, use storyboards or a combination thereof, it's really important that at this stage you visualize that ideal customer experience. Remember something that's going to be a game changer. Uh, we're not interested in small ideas. We did that before. Now we're interested in big ideas. And this is going to be the uh, secret sauce, so to speak, that's going to uh, elevate your vision from an ordinary vision into something truly truly exceptional. So uh, just a quick recap on what we've talked about. The first thing you have to do again is you want to go ahead and understand the best customer experience that's out there. The second thing you want to do is you want to figure out how it can be improved. Once you've done those two things, then you're prepared to think about what that ideal customer experience looks like and detail it out. It's so important that you get it down on paper, whether you're typing or you're drawing or you're writing. Getting it down in written form is or uh, getting it down in pen and paper form is incredibly important to creating a vision that's really going to take you to that absolute next level of success and make you unstoppable. So we have one more session coming up, but uh, that'll be released in a couple of days. But meanwhile, I think we've given you plenty of things to chew on. As always, I'd love to talk with you more about this. If you have any questions, uh, you can give me a call or drop me an email. And again, my name is Alay Yajnik, and I'm a certified focal point business coach. Thank you.